Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery from Go Kilowatt Hour. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I watched you do a review on this battery, I don't know, maybe a month ago. You did. It was this battery right here. This one had a uh, janky display that was really made for uh, lead acid batteries. And I was able to power, you know, well over 200 amps for a while on it. So, but what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and check out the, uh, the new battery that they sent me and uh, do the same tests to see what kind of improvements they've made. Okay, first I want to say, just like the other battery, their packaging is the best in the market. This thing is 100% covered in, in styrofoam. So, uh, keep that up, please. Okay, the first thing I noticed is that these batteries look identical. You can't tell that this one is any different or improved than the previous model. Um, I wish they would have put something on there that says with Bluetooth or uh, something along those lines. If you look at the tops, that's where you can kind of notice the difference between these two. And now I'm comparing these two, but they do actually sell both of these on their website. Currently the older model is selling for $250 and the new model is selling for $330. But this review isn't about the old version, it's all about the new version. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, and as soon as you open up your lithium iron phosphate battery, you always need to check the voltage to make sure that it is in the range that it should be. And that range should be between 13.1 volts and 13.2 volts. So let's go ahead and check it. And the voltage is 13.17, so perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery up to 100% so I can do a discharge test because this battery isn't worth its money if it doesn't give you the capacity that you want. While I'm charging it, I'm gonna go ahead and download the app and see what the Bluetooth is all about. Also, I noticed that this, this battery does not come with a paper manual at all. It's battery. And that's it. If you need a manual, you can always just scan this QR code or go to gokilowatthour.com, which is just those five letters, and you can download a PDF of the manual that is pretty comprehensive. All right, while this thing's charging, let's go ahead and uh, look at this screen and download the app. Let's just see what it does when you press the button. And it, look at that, it will put a display up and it will show you the voltage, which is 13.4. The current is 24.1 amps going into the battery. Uh, the temperature of the battery is 19 degrees Celsius. And it says it's at a 48% state of charge. Now, if this is a smart battery, like it says, this will be accurate. But it's always good to charge it all the way up to 100%. So that way the BMS can calculate what 100% actually is. So I always recommend that. All right, I just opened up the app. I went ahead and scanned the QR code and downloaded the app. Now, it's not from any kind of uh, Play Store or App Store, uh, so use it at your own discretion because it's not being monitored by any third party. Um, but I opened up the app. Let's go ahead and show it on the screen right here. And it looks pretty good. Uh, it shows exactly what the display on top shows. It shows that it's at 52% state of charge. Um, I like the fact that it shows a remaining capacity, which is nice, and an estimated charge time. And it says it's gonna take an hour and 44 minutes. Um, it also has your basic information, like your total voltage, uh, the current going into the battery right now, and what the power is in wattage. Uh, it also has your average voltage and your cycle index count. It also shows the temperature of the MOSFETs and it says humidity, nothing. I'm guessing it doesn't calculate that at all. Uh, there's also buttons at the bottom. Uh, history looks like it can kind of show you a history of it. I've only had this battery for a couple hours, so I don't have a history. Um, the controls. It looks like you can switch the charge switch on and off. Let's see if that works. Yeah, the battery just shut off from charging. We can turn it back on. 
and it started charging again. It was my charger that had the issue. So those work. You can also clear warnings and reset capacity. Let's see parameters. You can go into basic information and we can change the Bluetooth name from this DP04S007. Let's change it to Go Kilowatt Hour. Set. Okay, it says it's set successfully, so we'll check that out right now. Yeah, and logging back in, it now says Go Kilowatt Hour as the name of the battery. All right, overall, this app is actually pretty good. It tells you a lot of good basic information. So we're gonna go ahead and charge this battery all the way up to 100% and then do a discharge test to make sure we're getting our 100 amp hours that we paid for. All right, well, the uh, capacity test is done. So let's see what we ended up with. And the test concludes that it is 102.81 amp hours. So it passed the test perfectly. That equates to 1270.8 watt hours. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some high amperage tests. First, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, do a 100 amp uh, discharge, just to make sure that it can do a max withdrawal test like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and pump it up to maybe like 200 amps, uh, and then we'll just go ahead and max it out uh, with my big shopsmith over here to see if it can if it can do that it's not going to if it can i will be horribly surprised so uh let's go ahead and get it all set up okay for this high amperage test we have the battery connected to this 5000 watt inverter and that inverter is going to be powering this uh, new wave induction cooktop and a 200 watt uh little heater so uh we're going to go ahead and set that to 900 watts what we'll do is we'll use this monitor to display the current that's coming out of the battery. So let's go ahead and start this up. Set it to high. Start. Turn this heater on. Turn on the timer. Okay. And right now, it shows that we are pulling right at 98 amps, 97 So it's going down a little bit. But yeah, it'll pull, it'll pull at least 95 amps. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for about five minutes just to make sure it can, uh, it can pull that for that amount of time. All right, well this test has run for five minutes and 20 seconds and it can power 95 amps with that time with no problem. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and introduce a little bit more power. Let's bump this up to 1300 watts. And our current has gone up to 120 amps. And it shut off, perfect. I was actually just leaning down to grab something else uh, to throw in here to see if it would power it. And it shut off exactly like it should. Uh, the BMS says that the maximum discharge rate is 100 amps. So if you go over that, it should shut off after about five or 10 seconds. And it did it perfectly. And now it is turning back on, which took about, I would say, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. So I like that. That is exactly the way I feel it should work. Okay, now that this battery proved that it can do a 100 amp constant discharge and it will actually shut off if it's over amperage, uh, we're going to see if it can actually do a massive amperage withdrawal by powering up this, this shopsmith. Uh, I've seen this thing go over 300 amps. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom you in right on the uh, amp meter or the clamp meter to uh, see what happens. Okay, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> And our max withdrawal was 349 amps before it shut down. But that's actually pretty impressive because most 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, they won't even let this thing start up. So that's actually pretty impressive. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Go Kilowatt? 
I am pretty impressed. This battery performed everything that I threw at it. It, uh, it gave us a capacity of 102 amp hours. Um, it was able to do a 100 amp discharge for five minutes with no problem. And then it actually shut off when I tried to do over amperage, which is perfect. It also has Bluetooth capabilities, so you can connect it to your phone. And they make it very easy by having uh, the user manual on a barcode in the front. And they have barcodes on the top to give you direct access to the application that you need. So they made it very easy to be able to connect and everything about this battery works exactly the way that it should. So if you have any questions about this Go Kilowatt 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.